Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning into the AFV factory. So I thought it was time for a quick update on the E25. Now that I've started doing a bit of weathering to the upper hull. So as you can see, the um, dust effects that I've been using have made a big difference to the look of the, of the vehicle. And that's simply been done with um, an initial coat with the AK dust and dirt deposits. And then that was followed with a wash with this um, buff titanium model from Artist Oils, sorry. And so, yeah, so it's, um, it's you can see there where the heavy cast is for the mantle. It, it's, it's loaded it up there and in where the mud guards are bent up but generally it's just clung around anything that's sort of you know sticking up on the on the surface of the model sort of around that view um, port there and around the tools and the exhausts on the back so yeah i'm pleased with how that's looking i'm going to carry on and do a bit more so the next thing that I'm going to do will be um, using a darker colour and I'm not going to be so liberal with that so whereas this the first two were done all over wash I'm just going to be picking out a few areas um, the engine deck needs some more attention um, as does the rear so yeah so I shall just be um, just adding to it but I'm pleased with how it looks and it's it's interesting how just two washes can make such a difference between how it looked before and how it looks now so yeah i'll leave it there for now and what i'll do is i'll immediately jump on and um and give it a more localized pin wash So I'm calling the Trumpeter E25 finished. Um, I went over it, as you saw just a minute ago, with the um, the sand yellow deposits. Again, the AK, one of the AK range. Initially, as I said, I was just going to do a bit of a pin wash, really, and just pick out some bolt heads and bits and pieces. But as I went over it, I started to um, uh, spread it out a bit more, especially 
on these top plates here and here and the engine deck and then this rear deck here um, or rear plate I should say here um, and I kind of gradually worked my way backwards making it more and more dirty um, and this being the, the um, dirtiest of all of them really again just because as, as the vehicle's traveling and throwing up dirt and dust this is where it accumulates the most you can sort of see that um, if you go online and look at actual vehicles that have been you know operating in dirty and dusty environments that's where it tends to accumulate it, it billows up from bit and behind and sort of throws the the dirt and the dust back down onto the onto these rear plates and engine decks etc so um so yeah it's been a good kit i've really enjoyed building it um i'm a big fan of trumpeter anyway i've not had a bad one yet i don't know, you know how good their very early kits are but certainly the new kits that they do are um very very nice to put together uh, so yeah so um as you know this was the year that i did uh paper panzers and what if so i've done a few e-series vehicles and i'll do a bit of a video later on this week just showing what i've done this year and also have a look at um what i'm going to be doing next year um, but yeah I, w I wanted to do something different with this so i went for this urban camouflage sort of inspired by the british berlin brigades of the 1960s on their chieftains etc um so i've got part way through this uh, building facade which will ultimately be the background um for the diorama when i get round to it uh so i'm not sure when that will be but that's that's the plan in the future is i'll crack on some more work on this obviously it's very um unrealistic at the moment it needs a lot more stuff doing to it um, but that will come together in fullness of time i just wanted to get the tank finished um, or the vehicle finished i should say um, just to try and close up any um, unfinished vehicles before the new year uh, so let's just grab this and then I'll, you can have a look sort of closer up and i mean i think personally these washes with either with you know the oil washes with the artist paints but also with the enamels are just so effective at getting um, the sort of look you want you can get them you know you can make nice dusty ones or dirty it doesn't matter if it's you know wet and rainy the vehicle you're doing or you know or as this one is completely dry and dusty you can just um it's very easy to get the look that you're wanting or this or the look that i want anyway this is this is kind of how i like to see my models um you know, i've got nothing against people who don't do a lot of weathering um that's entirely their choice and you know there's nothing wrong with clean looking uh vehicles either but i quite like a, a, you know the way these look with dirt and they it's trying to tell a bit of a story it's got a bit of damage here on the these front mud guards etc um, but yeah it's a nice vehicle you can definitely see it being you know some of these what if um vehicles are you know completely unrealistic or were never even dreamt of but you could see how something like this would take over from uh the stug and the hetzer and um those types of vehicles the Agpanzer, and um as a small low profile tank destroyer i'm guessing that's the l70 75 millimeter gun there which obviously was still an effective um weapon even right up to the end of the war but yeah so as i say i'm happy with how that looks it's got sort of the directional um flow with the lines running down i'm pleased with how these tracks came out as i said i've been working on making more realistic tracks um with with um various shades of paint and then various tones of um 
again the oil paints and the enamels and that's starting to come together now i'm happy with how that looks um this exhaust pipe is quite shiny i did um i did varnish that one. i'm just thinking i probably might have varnished it with um um the satin that i used on the e100 that we'll have a look at in a minute so i've got some ultra matte so i'll go over that now uh but yeah, again, that's another thing that I've been working on is, you know, trying to get a realistic, rusted look. And, you know, I'm happy with that look, how that comes out. You know, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I'm pretty, pretty pleased with that. So, yeah, there it is. Trumpeter E25. Um, all done and ready for me to crack on to the next one. So I'll just pop this camera back and we'll have a look at the E100. So as some of you, some of you may well know, I've been looking at working on this E100 um, up until a few weeks ago and then I kind of got um, sent off track as, as I quite often do onto different projects and I have these brain waves and it makes me start on something else so um this has been sat um doing nothing so today I um got the spray booth out and uh, sat in varnished it same with the wheels and the barrel which are all here um and so now I can crack on with this so um with the weathering so it was only the varnish that was holding up the process really uh, so what I'm going to do with this, if I can find it, please bear with me, is oh, it's got a little bit left, um, a filter. So I don't always use filters, um, and I think it. I'm guessing you probably can get different variations of these, um, but this one looks particularly good on um the yellow or sand colored paint so yeah that is going to be the next step and that will be happening tomorrow as i'll hit this um with uh, with the filter and at the same time i will start on the work underneath uh to start the weathering on that um so this is going to be a, obviously it's a winter camo so i will be working towards more of a, a winterized vehicle as well so the tracks will have um snow in them the wheels will have bits of snow um etc etc so yeah that's the idea it's going to be dark it, it will darken right down the filter will tone it down and then uh subsequent washes etc will sort of tone it down and knock it back so um it will it won't look all one colour, but it will start to, the colours will start to merge a little bit. And uh, yeah, so that, that would be good. And I'd be pleased. I should be able to get this finished um, before the new year, assuming that nothing comes up or uh, gets in the way or stops me. Um, but it'll certainly be close. So yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Um, thanks for everybody who subscribes and likes and comments. Um, it's always good to know, as I've said before, that people are enjoying what I'm doing and um, yeah, anything you want to know, anything you want to comment on why I've done something that way, please do and um, please subscribe if you haven't already. So I shall sign off for now and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.